everybody, I'm Martha with Silka and welcome to another episode of Ask the Expert. Today we're going to go over the new uh, Imperial Ultimate 2 and Pocket Imperial 2, basic use, basic maintenance, and just any troubleshooting you might need to be aware of. Alright, so the basic use is the same for the Pocket and the Ultimate version of this pump. So I'm going to set the Pocket aside for now and I'm just going to show you on the Ultimate. So what you're going to do um, first is prep your wheel, so you'll turn it um, and unthread your valve core and give it a few taps. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this little lock so that I can move the handle freely. I'll just slide that down the um, barrel of the pump. And then I'm going to press it onto the valve core about 15 millimeters, which may be a little bit further than you are used to with other chucks. All right, good. Now that it's secure on the valve stem, I can pump like normal. When it's time to remove, I'm going to grab the wheel from behind and press it off with my thumbs. This just helps protect the valve core uh, and my fingers. All right, so if you're the proud owner of one of these pumps, there's a little bit of maintenance you might want to be aware of. So first of all, the thing that makes these pumps work is there's a leather gasket inside of it, which pushes all the air through. Now this can get a little bit dry over time if you live in a really dry place your winters are really dry, or if you're not using the pump for an extended period of time. Um, if that's you, you may notice when you pull your pump out to use it that it's not moving air like it did when it was new. So it's really easy to fix that. All we're going to do is put a little bit of lubricant on our leather gasket, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So for both of these pumps, um, you'll notice that there's this little ring um, in the center that's holding the handle and the barrel together. So all you're going to do is unthread it, just like this, and you can pull your pump apart, just like that. So you'll notice at the end of your piston rod, you have your 751 leather gasket. So if you're having major compression issues, you might want to check it out and see if there are any creases or tears and consider replacing it. But typically, all it's going to take is a little bit of lubrication. So to do that, you'll just grab your NFS pump lid and you'll put a few dabs on the leather gasket. You don't have to put a lot. And then you're going to massage it into the leather. You can either use your fingers, like I'm doing here, or you can roll it on the table, like this. And you'll want to do this 15 to 20 times, just to make sure the lubricant is fully absorbed and the leather is pliable. Perfect. So once you've moisturized your leather gasket, you may find that the cup is sort of splayed out. So you may need to use your hand to navigate it back into the pump barrel. Perfect. So then you'll just thread the cap back into place and it'll be good to go. So now that our leather gasket is lubricated, um, the other piece of maintenance you may need to perform every three to five years is replacing your chuck gasket. Now this is a wearable part and over time, as you put it on the valve stem and take it off, it can just wear to the point where it's not creating a very good seal. So we have a spare for this available. Again, it's the 323, and installing it is really easy. So I have here an 8 millimeter Allen key, and all I'm going to do is insert it right into the gasket cover and unthread it. There we go. All right, so your gasket will be right inside the gasket cover and you'll just need to remove that. You may need a small tool. It's a pretty tight bit. I'm gonna try using my fingers. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> All right, and so then you'll just need to install your new gasket. Now, the side of the gasket that has writing on it, it says 323 USA, um, you'll want that facing out, so where you would put it on the valve stem. I'm going to press that into place and then just thread it back in. And again, this process is the exact same on the Pocket Impuro. There we go. All right, so if you have the ultimate version of this pump, um, we have a cool new feature that I want to show you. So basically, on the Impuro one, um, if you're on the upper or the lower end of the size frame, 
there wasn't really a way for you to adjust how well your pump fit, so you may need to have installed like an EDC strap for extra security. This pump has that extra security built in. So to adjust the fit, all you need is a four millimeter Allen key, and you'll just install it right into the end of the pump. And you can actually adjust how long this piston rod is, just slightly, just enough to get the best fit for your frame. So if I turn it clockwise, you can see the piston rod is turning. Um, what it's gonna do is make the pump longer. So if you find that you're at the upper end of the range to get a tighter fit, I'd recommend just turning this clockwise a little bit until you can dial it in. Now on the other end of that, um, if you need your pump to be a bit smaller, you can turn it counterclockwise. So you can kind of customize the fit to where it's perfect for you. All right. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Ask the Expert. If you have any other questions about these pumps, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or write us an email or call us.